Shavua Tov from Shechter. This coming week we will celebrate the 70th anniversary of the State of Israel. And I thought that we should uh, tell a little story about a person who worked at Shechter for many years. His name was Benjamin Brenzel. And the letter that he wrote in 1947 describing the reaction of the Jewish Israeli people to the partition plan of the UN in November of 1947. Benjamin Brenzel was born in 1902 in Lvov, which today is in Ukraine, and he had a very eventful life, which I outline in the article, which you can read, that is attached to this video. Among other things, he served in the Austrian army in World War I. Uh, later on, he served in the British army in World War II. And after the state was founded, Benjamin worked uh, for many, many years for the Ministry of Labor in Tel Aviv and later in Jerusalem. Uh, and finally, beginning in 1969, he worked at Nebe Shechter, which was the uh, branch, the dormitory of JTS in Israel, and later on at Machon Shechter, the Shechter Institute, where he worked approximately until the age of 100, and he passed away in 2005 at the age of 102. Shortly before he passed away, his niece gave me a Xerox of this letter, which is a letter that he wrote to his family in the United States immediately after the partition plan was approved by the United Nations. And I think that if we listen to this letter, we can understand the miraculous nature of the rebirth of the State of Israel. It says in the Talmud and the Tractate of Nida, Ein Balanes Makir Beniso, that a person involved in a miracle frequently doesn't recognize the miracle that he is involved in. And I think that is one of our problems in the State of Israel today. So this is what he writes from Tel Aviv, November 30th, 1947, Yudzayin Kislev Tafshin Chet, Dear Adela and rest of the family, as you note, I wrote the date on top of this letter in full, as this will be a historical date for generations to come. It took 1,800 years and cost the Jews millions of victims the right to be recognized by the great majority of the UN as a people. And I am happy to be one of those who live in this historical moment. Now I am satisfied. But I was not so last night or two nights before when I was sitting by the radio until late night hours listening to the General Assembly's outcome of the vote. And then he describes in great detail the vote at the UN and what they did and the pro and the con. And he goes on to say, now we are looking forward to a great future. Of course, it will be hard in the beginning. There are many enemies against us, but we sincerely hope to get through it. And if everything goes as planned, I shall be working at the end of the next eight months for the government of Medina Ivrit. He doesn't say Medina Israel. He says the Hebrew state. I'm enclosing a cutting from a newspaper showing the people waiting outside a press building for news. As you will notice, it is late. I'm too excited to write anything more today. And now I look down from my office window and what do I see? There is a glassware shop just opposite. The owner has brought a dozen bottles of wine and serves free drinks for passerby. And everyone who drinks must say Shechianu and long live the Jewish state, and has to throw the glass to the floor and break it. Well, it's a great moment, and I am happy. And how are all of you? I hope well. We are, of course. This is the beauty of the moment when the State of Israel was approved by the United Nations in November of 1947, and I think we should remember that beautiful and miraculous moment as we celebrate the 70th anniversary of the State of Israel. Shavua Tov from Shechter.